something. You're under something. I'm under something, yeah. Hey, big round of applause for starting starting a show. Did you listen to this week's episode, uh, Lisa Moore? Uh, no. No, well, was well. Was it good? Uh, no. You mean last week's? Last week's. Was, was it good? good? I don't know yes, if it was good. good. Well, well, let's worry about this episode. Okay. Oh, I've got the phones on. Everything is great. Anyway, on. welcome to None American Radio. I'm Louis Schaefer. This bonjour. is Bonjour. Or bonjour. This is, uh, this is the only radio show for Americans living. For Americans living in London. I forgot. We're, we're doing two things. And that's already too much. It's already too much. We've had a change, which was... We're, this is going out on the radio right now, the people who are Resident listening to this first. Them. And this is where our first heart is, is to the radio. We believe in radio. We don't believe in radio. We believe I in do. radio. I yeah, believe we believe in radio. radio. Yeah. Believe in radio. Of course I believe in I radio. I mean, there's so many things that you don't believe in, but believe in, but radio is real. We can establish that, right? We can establish it. Invented by Americans. Okay, so it's real. And it exists. I think. It, it exists as a radio station in Southeast London, well, and beyond. And Resonance beyond. FM, 104.4 FM. That's what, you, that's what you're listening to right now, unless you're listening later on the YouTube, because we're recording this for YouTube to give a little extra mm. thing. Oh, mm-hmm. A little Thank extra booth. Because me... we wanted to spend more time together. I think we did. We, we felt w- like half an hour wasn't enough for us. We're like Richard and Anne. Like, they would say it's just the content. We need content. And I think... We're only one day a week, and the fact is, is that we need to do this more. I mean, you're not going to do it anymore. And, yeah. no. I mean, 14 years is a long time. It is, but that's why we've got no traction whatsoever on this show. Have we got well, any we're traction? We're still on the radio. We're still on the radio. Yeah, I don't know. After year after year, season don't, after season. Don't say anything about it, please. Okay. They might change their mind. I hear Resonance. Maybe they forgot. <laughs> if you like us, you can give a, you can throw a couple of bucks to Resonance FM. Well, it's fun and fundraising. fundraising week is coming up. That's it's right. coming up in February, so you'll be hearing a lot from us yeah, about fundraising week and our fundraiser, which we'll be organizing in February. Correct? Yeah. Am I correct? We're well, February 23rd at the 23rd Ivy House. 23rd at the Ivy House, the, just outside of the fundraising week, Resonance FM fundraiser, hosted by London American Radio. Right, and we're going to give them a little bit of money. We hope to make more money than we made last time. Yeah. It was, the last year was a bad year. It was a tough year. Do we have our headliner yet? We don't have a headliner. I have a bit. We don't have anybody even for. for we have a Sajila Kershey is doing this Thursday's is, show, yeah. which is if you listen, it's Thursday the um. Uh, so three days time. Yeah. At the Ivy House in London, London's first community on pub. Yeah, and if if you're listening to this. We're on Nunhead Radio, N U N E H E A D at uh, Twitter. We're on Nunhead American Radio on uh, Facebook. So go to those things and tell us whether you can hear us. In a, I've got a new camera. Oh, I, think I, look better. I think you look a lot better. You were so beautiful. Oh, I was fishing, by the way. Where are you fishing? Yeah. Well, you can fish all you want to. Fish again. I'll give you a compliment. Okay. Say, I'm my pretty. I was feeling so tired today. You don't look tired. No. Say, I was no. feeling like, oh gosh, I'm really getting old and I don't know if I want to be on camera anymore. No, how could you do no? that? You're getting younger. It's all <laughs> it's all downhill for you. <laughs> or is it uphill? This is as good as you're ever going to look. It is. Is that right? This is as good as it ever. I mean, like maybe my hair could be a little bit more organized, but. Generally speaking, yeah. this is as good as I'm ever going to look. It, it all depends on the person who's doing the looking. You know. I got to find the right looker. looker. What kind of looker do I need to find? I don't know what kind is your type. You know. What's okay, his name? Do I need to be this? What's his name got married at your age? What's uh, what's his name married a girl your age? Uh, Buzz Aldrin. I saw that. Yeah. He's yeah. 93 years it old. It was his birthday. And she looked at me and she says, am I going to have to spend all the mm-hmm. rest of your life with you? <laughs> I mean, what is it, two, three years? What and do you what, think? Uh, you know what? He looks pretty healthy. That's the awkward thing. Well, maybe she knows his genes. Like, maybe they all drop at, like, 93. Well, maybe what do you think she found? Out? She found well, I thought he said, I mean, I only saw it in a post on Twitter. And I thought he said she was his long-term partner and they decided to get married. Oh, so I don't think okay. this is like Rupert Murdoch, oh, I met you, you fit my age profile, boom, we're married. Oh, so they've been together for a while. Well, I don't know, I don't know that much about but that he said my long-term partner, so, so I thought that maybe at that age, I don't know, how, like, you know, that sounds like it could be a long time. So how long does he have to be with her before it's less creepy? Or is uh, it creepy? Or is she, she, how old is she? She's 60, 60. Okay, I am not 60. Most first of all, you yeah. said married a woman my age, so that's well, kind of fine. Sorry, sorry about I'm that. I'm not 60. Um, 
He'll always be young to me. Well, so. he lived long enough for that not to be creepy. She's a doctor as well. Well, she a doctor in her title. She could be a she, she could be a Jill Biden doctor, which isn't really much of a doctor. A PhD is a PhD. Do you have a PhD? Uh, I've I think a... if you've earned the title, why shouldn't you use it? Because we know it's not the same thing. It is the same thing. And you know what? They give out PhDs like crazy nowadays. They do. It's not quite as important as it used to be. Uh, I still, look, she's an older woman, so what you're saying is when she did it, it was important. How do you know? She could have gotten, do you know how people go back to school? I do. Think. Yeah. They go back I to school. I want to do my PhD. I'm calling myself Dr. Moyle. Oh, there you go. Well, you can call yourself Dr. Moyle even if you're not a doctor. No. That's what makes America great, Dr. J and Dr. whatever. You could call yourself a doctor. Mm -hmm. That's what makes America a great country. This country, mm -hmm. Britain, you can't do things like that. You can't call yeah, yourself... You yeah, like in America, you could call yourself a city, like Garden City or Port Washington City. You could call yourself a city. What do you mean there's no rules on naming? No. Is that true? Not in any true. of the states. Are you sure about that? Um, well, uh, why do you ask that tough question, please, Lisa Loyal? Yeah, I'm basically almost sure about it. Whether it is a city or not, I think in order to be a city, it has to be incorporated. No, I know, but then are you allowed to call yourself Chicago? Yeah, because there's like a Brooklyn Beckham. Yeah, you so, could call I mean, yourself a Chicago. Well, what I meant, are there any prescribed names? Like, I think there are names here that you can have rejected, no? I believe. As a, I mean, as a, human as names, as a, yeah, as first as name, people, name, yeah. people names. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know yeah, that either. True, true, true. Well, what we should do is what we should have. If you're listening, to, if you're watching this on YouTube, just say write something on the bottom of YouTube. Yeah. If you're, yeah, if you do, you're about. yeah, just say what the truth is. Yeah, I mean, the thing is, Lisa, we we because what else are we going to talk about? Not that's me. True. That's right. We're talking about me. Oh yeah. And you actually, yeah. actually, you're going to. Oh yeah, you accused me of being sixty, and I pushed. I didn't say that. I said, oh, you I said your age. What I meant is age appropriate for me. Is what I meant. Not for Buzz. Not for. Mm -hmm. and maybe and is is it appropriate for Buzz? Of course, why can't he? Doctor, he has an honorary doctor. Oh, did he really? Because he goes Doctor Buzz. But I mean, he was he was a uh, what you call What was he? He was an astronaut, but did he have a degree in science? Probably didn't. He came from like a test pilot days. Is that true? I thought. I'm like, gonna like guess. When I was a kid. Like when when people said, "Oh, I want to be an astronaut," they listed a thousand things you have to do. Right at that time, but remember, he started to be an astronaut. He's 92. There wasn't a huge queue around the block to go up in space and die. Yeah. People didn't want that, and now yeah. they let women so go up he there. Qualified by today's standards. Underqualified. Possibly. He probably would, no. He wouldn't have been able to do it. It's like when I went to university. The, you wouldn't have been able to be an astronaut. I remember my my uh, president of my school said, "You know, we don't let people like you into the school anymore." Barred. It's a barred college. When did he yeah. get the opportunity to say that? When did he? A hmm. few years after I went there. It was a very small school. What did he mean? I know. I have a friend that a good friend that went there. Yeah. Um, what did he mean? He meant that that they yeah, had to accept me because they were dying for uh, customers, huh. for students. So they would let Isn't anybody. Harsh? Why would they say that? Because that was. What, isn't that the... what famous people went to Bard? Chevy Chase. Oh. Blythe Danner. Is he? He's older than you. Yeah few years. Mm -hmm. uh, Steely Dan. All of them? Uh, two of them. The two, oh. the main two guys, mm -hmm. Becker and Fagan. Cool. Um, Bob Dylan wrote a lot of the songs there because he was hanging out in Woodstock and he used to go down the road, in, or down the mountain. Into. Yeah. What town is Barden again? Is it Rye? Uh, no, it's in Annandale on Hudson, which is, in, which is basically yeah. Red Hook. Oh, okay. Red Hook, yeah. Red Hook, Hook, yeah. 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 Um, but that's, with you. That's very a school. Pretty. Very pretty. Oh my God! Did you? Did I show you the pictures of that? No, yeah, but I've been to Red Hook. Oh my God! It was so. We 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 were with the boys up there. It was oh. so. I did show me pictures. Yeah. When you when you went on your nostalgia tour. Yeah, right on the Hudson River. We yeah, walked over the Hudson River. It was so hot. Gorgeous. We had such an amazing time. Oh. Yeah. And you could die tomorrow, and then they'll always remember that. Yeah, I've done a very good job. You've done a great. job. I've um, taken my kids to America. Anyway, yeah. where were we? Where were we? How did we get distracted about being a city? Britain, you can't mm -hmm. be a city unless you have a cathedral and it's appointed. You mm -hmm. got to be appointed mm -hmm. as a city. Mm -hmm. You can be the Lord big. Croydon. Has Croydon want to get appointed a city? Did they really? I believe so. Yeah. Well, I should, I should well, worry about paying pay the thing. I brought in. I just wanted to say before we got started. Did you want to do a urine test? Um, no, I'll pass. Thank you. You, you're sure. Yeah. You're sure. Yeah. Just, to, just. Would you like me... to do one for my dog? <laughs> Could I do one for your dog? Only if you can get him to pee in your hand. 
You do that. No, I'm not doing that for the job. You do that. Anyway. What that might require. So let's get back on track with our show. Thanks for listening, everybody. I hope you can hear it. Hope you can hear. So this is uh, this is Monday, the 23rd of January, 2023, and we're repeated this Saturday, the 28th of January, at 9:30 in the morning. It is prime time. People at home listening to this. Thank you for listening. Thank you for listening. Yeah, mm, <laughs> at least that's the, kind of, that's, the kind of, that's the kind of thing that I would say. <laughs> I don't even like to think about that. I will do. You are, if you're listening in the bed in the morning, you are beautiful and you're worthy of us. And so the, the first half hour recording, as I said, this is for the radio. The second half hour, we're going to be keeping videoing and then we're going to upload the video to YouTube. The Nunhead, Nunhead American is the name of, is the thing. And so this is week 10 of, uh, of, um, oh, no, week, is it week 10 or week 11? I think it's September. I think it's week eleven. Yeah, since we started, but we uh-huh. only this is the fifth or sixth one we filmed. So oh. if, I've already lost track of the times uh-huh. of these things. Well, you print out calendars, why you use them? I because they just print out calendars, and then I misplaced the print out calendars. But it's uh-huh. it, it's the show is either called Louis Schaefer's March Toward Death. Oh yes, that's what Or it's called. Um, or we decided that was our seasonal name. Or are we marching to death from now on? Well, I mean, the thing about people are very interested in the, uh, whatchamacallit? In the, are uh, they? Yeah, I think they are. Are they are. interested in your kidneys? Yeah. The, well, the few people who've been listening, we're not getting very, we're getting about 50 listeners on, on YouTube. How do you know they're interested in your urine analysis? Do they say, Lewis, great urine this week? I, someone actually commented on the thing. <laughs> if I could find it. Oh, what are you doing with your urine? If I could find what it was. They actually made a comment about you, Lisa Moore, mm. so I think... Was it mean? Don't tell me if it was mean. No, it wasn't mean. Because I can't handle that kind of thing. This is why I don't, I'm don't. i not, uh, like, highly active on social media. Yeah. I'm not, like, someone who's going to see, like, a thousand mean things and be like, oh, that's cool. Yeah, see, I can handle it. I don't know why I can handle it. Why do you think I can handle it? You, but I'm supposed to be so know. sensitive. Yeah, you were sensitive. Because you people... Know, but no, people so think, oh, crazy. you're needy. You didn't you say I was needy. It's not the same thing as being sensitive. I can be sensitive. And, are you on your phone? No, I'm looking. I'm not on my phone. I'm looking at the thing. You keep on talking while I'm on the phone. So I don't think needy and sensitive are the same thing because you say incredibly uh, insensitive, insensitive things. Insensitive things to well, you about. you think that I do, but, you do. but people say. I know for a fact they do. That is true. I know that people I, who got quite upset with things that you said. And yeah. I know that you're not an intentionally mean person. I know that you're just an idiot. Yeah. And that you say those things. You're welcome. That you say, you don't say those things with mean intent. You're just an yeah. idiot sometimes. Right, exactly. Yeah, so how, how can you define yourself as sensitive? I know, I'm saying that I am very needy and that I want you people to like me. You need to be liked. Right, so that's not the case. That's totally not the case. I mean, people, I just... Like, what's her name? That girl was talking to me. Which girl? You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know which the one, one I'm talking about. You know. know. You know which one. The one that you like. Well, the one. You've whatever, been that with one. for many moons. Yeah, that one. With. I don't want to talk about it. Because I, okay, but you brought her up. So. Didn't you say to me, we shouldn't mention whether I've got a girlfriend or not, that that might, it might hurt the show? I never said that, but that's fine. Maybe um, you thought to yourself, oh my God, how are women going to want me if they know I have a girlfriend? If they know I have a girlfriend. Is she your girlfriend currently? No, she's my future wife. Oh, are you engaged? I thought that was off. No, it's on. Oh my God, you guys have like the roller coaster relationship of... Uh, no, it wasn't teams. off. It wasn't off. You I told just, me last week it was off. My, I thought it might be off, but she's... Well, back on. Back on. I am. My back boy's on. in there. I know. She could change her mind. She could change her mind. I mean, I've been... Can like, I be... Um, a, a third wheel, yes. No. <laughs> That's a blush. That's a blush. If you listen to the radio, you're going to check out the. Uh, the is that what it is? Because it's a very hot apartment. And it's very, very warm in here. And I walked over. I picked up some wine earlier with lunch. Oh, so you've been drinking before we did the show. Just a couple glasses of wine, not a lot. Not a lot. A couple of glasses That's of wine. What British standards? Is that a lot? No, but by American standards, this is, a, this is a bit of American show. So did you want to be? Did you want to be the third? Um... No, I was I was going to ask if I could be your bridesmaid, not your 
your polyamorous. Yeah, I was thinking. What about that? What about that? <laughs> yeah, I, I have how too old fashioned for that. Have, I am very old fashioned. I am a so. one guy, one girl kind of girl. Yeah, me too. I'm not a two girl girl. No, I mean, because... I'll cheat on someone at a stretch, but yeah, really, those have you to be would... separate acts. <laughs> you would cheat on somebody at a stretch. Did you just say that? I did say that. I'm not That's... Just... At a stretch, like could stray. That is so. That is so modern. Is it? modern. I wouldn't even admit to that. Am I? Am I a cheater? Am I a cheater? No, I've never known you to be a cheater. Yeah. Am I? Am I one of those kind of guys who's like all over? Like a place? player. Like a player. No, you don't have the uh, tenacity. No, I don't. I right? Or the attention span. Well, that's interesting that you mentioned that. One because moment, you're one moment at a time, that's all you can handle. That's all I can handle. Like I said this today, say, like, because when I introduce myself, it says, I'm Lewis Schaefer. I'm Lewis Schaefer. I'm an American, a New Yorker, a nunheader, and I'm not available. No. Either in a relationship or emotionally, <laughs> right? I'm not available. Oh, we don't know who the lucky girl is. But that won't stop me from having a half-hearted go. Oh, I'll have a half-hearted go. Do you see yourself as a romantic? Um, oh, gosh, you do. Oh, yeah. oh there you go. <laughs> is that you? I just, I just arrived. Oh, yeah. Just from last week. I just put, I put it on my... <laughs> um, what does being a romantic mean? Oh, that was no. that was one of those it's questions. Whirl, but that was one of the questions that uh, that uh, someone asked you. That we did. We talked on GB News because I'm on GB News. Mm -hmm. You can watch me on GB News about is romance dead? Why? Well, it was never alive for you. We don't want people to know that you're on that icky show. It isn't icky. Okay, I can see icky. the response I get from people when I say, "Oh yeah, Lewis is doing a regular shot up uh, shot slot on GB News." Do you know what they do? This what, what they, they do. do. Oh. Oh, to make yeah. a face for the camera. Now remember, we're on Ew. TV, so make a cut. It's not. You got to act that a bit more. Ooh. Yeah. Okay. Why? Well, they say why. Well, why? Why? And is I that? said because he is an underemployed comedian <laughs> who's going to take a slot wherever they give it to him. But you want to say thing. And he just... does agree with some of those. I agree with what I say. They never ask me to say anything I don't agree with. If somebody says something on the program that I don't agree with, I tell them I don't agree with. I don't have to follow the party line. I've got enough personality. And I'll tell you something. I've been asked to do lots of things that I've said no to doing. I've been asked I've been asked to be on RT TV. What's that? The Russian TV. Rush RT. Is like, that, yeah, it was like the network. Yes, if for the, in this country. Mm -hmm. Okay, and I've been on, I was asked to do a Why program. Why did they want you on there? Because they wanted an like American. Right wing weirdos, like no, I, because I wasn't considered to be a right wing weirdo at the time. People think I'm a right wing weirdo now. Yeah. I am a weirdo, but I don't think I'm a right wing. You are, but let me know. Oh, this girl wrote something nice about you, Lisa. Oh, I cannot find. Just give me the gist of it. You don't need to I know. don't remember what it was. Do I know her? This is no, it's somebody, it's somebody. It's somebody, but it was something nice about her. Like, oh, wow. I like her jumper. Or was it Lewis? No, we're we're lucky to, to have her in your life. Later. Yeah, there's something like, like, what kind of relationship is that or something oh. like that? There is no relationship. I'm going to keep on telling myself that. One day you'll wake up. And you'll be in bed next to me. <laughs> yeah, it's very awkward. <laughs> and I'll have no memory of the previous 12 hours. <laughs> By the way, I do not think that kind of a behavior is funny. Oh, that's actually horrible. <laughs> it's so wild. Isn't it funny if I said that? You think that I'm a I complete know, but I'm a woman and I can say that. I know you're horrible. Woman. And anyway. I, mean, I know you would never do that. And I trust you. So there's that, there's that, and uh, and I think Sean and Sean said, "Oh my God, I'm not prepared." You're not prepared. Why are you? Look at okay. Can you can you? There's a picture of you on your phone. I can tell that you because you have me take a picture of you every week. Yeah. That that's your favorite, and you probably posed a thousand yeah. times to that. Yeah. And I can also see you're clenching your abs, and there's been a high filter on there. There's mm. not one wrinkle there. No, it's not a filter on it, but it's a, it's a, it's whatever. It's the, it's, the lighting. It's the lighting. It's not the filter. I didn't put a filter. Do on. women find you attractive when you say you do film? Yeah. I imagine GB News would not do wonders for your love life unless you're after that, like yeah, you know, Trump boys throw away. No. Yeah. I'm going to tell you something why it does. Why it does? Because conservative women are way more beautiful. Oh my God, that's so than right than left wing women. I'll tell you why. Because they they respect the man and they want to make the man happy, as opposed to the le left wing women, they just don't care. It's like it's, you you're 
you put on lippy for the thing. You, do you come? Do you come wearing lippy for me? No, you don't. Because I walk across the park. Yeah, whatever. It is. Sometimes I mean I had lipstick on earlier because I went to a lunch today, so I was topping it up for the for for YouTube. Thank you for YouTube and not for me. So that's no, we, we don't have that kind of relationship. Well, we should to keep to keep the show alive. We're gonna. Have, I think we have to. Well, you think we should have a relationship and then break up? No, I think we should. So I think that's going a bit too far. What well, were Ben Stiller's parents called? Who were like ah. Stella and Mira? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They were not. I mean, I don't think we need to work at it, really. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we need to work at it. Anyway, so what today is the anniversary, you're going to like this, mm -hmm. in 1849 of Elizabeth Blackwell. And she became a British woman. And she moved to America when she was 17. And she mm -hmm. became the first woman in the United States to earn a medical degree, graduating from New York's Geneva Medical College. Mm -hmm. Never heard of it. No, she never married nor had any children and died. I bet she died very happy. I know it could have been happy. I don't she think probably that. discovered I don't think. the secret of success very early on. So, uh, so here we go. And, you know, the question was asked: What's going on with Lisa Moyle's life? Everybody's is always like it's always about Louis Schaefer. I mean, it's been that way for our whole relationship. I don't think we should mess with it. You don't think we should? No. Well, why don't you tell people your secret? Why don't you? I'm not forthcoming. Yeah, why do you think that is? Can you speak a bit louder? I don't know why I'm like that, but I am. Why are you so secretive? Did something bad happen to you? People, some people have said to me, one guy, one years ago, yeah. asked another guy who was a very good friend if I would, had been abused. Yeah. And I said, no, I was just being honest. Yeah. 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 Yeah
That's what you spend your time thinking yeah. about. I mean, well, I, if I could say this, I know it's early in the day, but I... Used to, it's like a logical, you know, insights. No, like more than insights or that feed into the kind of, you know, that garbage that some people like to watch, some many men, some men. There are men. Anyways, go off that chapter because it is 60s. Fantastic. Oh, yeah, physics. Okay. So, so basically, so what's the next step? What do we do now? We only have, we have. I thought we usually talk about your upcoming medical appointments, of which there seem to be very, very many. Yes, there are. There are none this week. There are none this this week. I'm filming tomorrow. On Monday, I'm going to. I'm, I don't know if I'm allowed to say anything. Well, it could be a pastry show in India. It doesn't necessarily have to be no. that show. I'm going to Pinewood Studios. I can say that. I'm doing a television show for one of the big. Well, the biggest. Is probably, it the biggest? Of all time. Franchise, yeah. would you say? Is that called a franchise? It could be. Oh, yeah, yeah, the franchise. I was thinking. The I would studio. say it's the biggest of all time. Or do you think it's something like Avatar now? Has it been displaced? No, I think it's still... just two, two Yeah, movies. it must be that show. It must be, yeah. By I that mean, guy. And people were very... That's owned now by that company. So I'm, do, I'm doing that, and I hope, it, I hope it's okay. I thought, remember I said I was going back there for another role. Yes. Yeah. Like that, that you? No, it wasn't another role. They needed, they needed to continue to fit the, uh, the uniform. The pastry shirt thing. Yes. Oh, what do you wear? Is it super cute? Puffy hat? Uh, yeah, it's a puffy hat. And uh, I don't know if I'm allowed to say it. They're just so sensitive, these people. But as a puffy hat, and and it needed to be like kind of, I need to have buttons put on it, a buttons a certain way, and they were quite, you know, the whole thing was quite a to do, to do, you know, shoes and the and the, 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 the shirt and make make sure. Do they put makeup on you? Yeah. Like pancake makeup? No. No, they don't need to do that. Because my skin is so, it's so beautiful. <laughs> I was going to set you up for that. It's so beautiful. Smooth as a baby's touch. Oh, well, let's just, let's just say, uh, so, so look for, we'll talk about that more later. Okay. So we're about to end this, this section of the, of the, of the radio, radio show, show. Of the radio show. Let's make sure we cover everything. Make sure you give money to, uh. Yes. But that, I mean, the actual fundraising week is in mid-February where we'll be telling you much more, including details about where you can go to donate. Yeah. But they could do that now. Uh, Why can't they do it now? Open. I don't know. I mean, I actually haven't looked at the website yet, but usually there's like a donate now thing and right. you're meant to, well, you will, of course, set up a at Facebook. Now. Yeah, but and a Facebook fundraiser. Oh, yes. I and we'll be that. doing our show in February. Right. Um, in yes. February. Because Resonance, did you see, is uh, kidding out a new studio because and eventually... they still working on the new studio. Well, they had to move to a new place or something. Do you not read the emails? No. Oh, they had to move to a new place. So the other, something fell through, so they found another place. And now the studio has to be, you know, mm-hmm. all the studio things in it. I've got to move. So they, have they started uh, that? Uh, I, don't, I mean, well, they've just signed on the building, from what I understood. Okay, so we'll talk about that later. We're running out of time here. So, yeah. Listen, um, we'll be back in the studio one day, which will be... But if you're listening to this on the, on the radio, come on Thursday up to Nunhead or down to Nunhead. It's kind of up because it's up on a hill. Up in Nunhead the at the Ivy House at 7 o'clock. It's, we're doing a free show because it's January and life is depressing. So this is our gift to you. It's been with Sajila Kershaw and there'll be other comedians... And you'll have a really good time. And then we'll we'll stiff arm you for money. Lisa will stiff arm you for money in the beginning. She's mm-hmm. really good. Can I do that? You do it naturally. Yeah, I do. Yeah, you're, you're, you're a dog. I don't know if that's the right word. You're a, you're a, pit, you're a pit bull. In oh, terms. Pit bull. Oh, okay, we're running out of time. Listen, I want to thank you, Laura Synthesis and uh, Shawnee Sean. I want to thank everybody at the radio station. Uh, I want to thank Richard and Anna. And uh, and uh, we should ask them and, to come to London for the fundraiser in February. Yes, we should. We yes, we should relatives. for them to perform. Steve Parry, Neil McLennan, and, uh, and who else? Who else? Oh, yeah. And Ed Baxter. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to say goodbye to you right now. Best show ever. Mm-hmm. Okay, so continue to listen. You have to continue. You, you, you're, I wish I was over, but can you listen, listen to the program? Okay. It is incredibly it's warm. Is it, I mean, it's like minus two. I, turn, I actually so, turn this off. It's so hot in here. Yes, it's very hot. That's why I'm it's wearing a short sleeve shirt. It's not good for your skin, you know. Is that right? Oh, it's everything.
I don't think it's that. I don't think it's not that. The moisture is not that low, honestly. It's not that low. I know, but that's not. Uh, you you are not you are you are moistly sensitive. <laughs> sorry, sorry. You're just very, very alive. Okay, we're back. We're back now. Can we remember the show's still going on? Yeah. Okay. So now this is this is the hard part about our show. It's like keeping the momentum going. Well, we really only got a little bit of the way through your calendar. Which yes. We're getting pretty busy, actually. It is. So only one day of filming. You could do better. I could do better. No doctor's appointments this week. But what are you going to do to fill your time? Well, I've got other things going oh, on. Okay. I've got it's other really things. Really I've got, uh, I've got, so that's filming tomorrow. Uh -huh. On oh, Wednesday, really? on Wednesday, I'm going to be exhausted. So maybe I need to take a break on Tuesday. Uh -huh, yeah. But still, yeah, Tuesday's sure. a busy day. I'm taking out the, uh, the recycling on Tuesday morning. Right. Okay. Yeah. Do you do that with a friend or do you do it by yourself? I do it by myself. What kind of person do you think I am? I do it even the night before I take out the recycling. Yeah, you're really ahead. You're on top of your recycling. Well, I have to be because they, they pick it up at like 9 o'clock in the morning, the recycling. So we've got that. We also have the Ivy House. Oh, yes, I'm going to say this is a busy week. So it is a very busy yes, week. Yes, I may struggle to get there by 7, but I'll do my best. Why? What are you doing? Are you working? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, and so we've got to get a couple of maybe new acts. We've got to. Uh, um, think about February. The fundraiser. We're not thinking about February. Oh, yet. we're not. Okay. We're not. We're, we're going to first. We're going to do this, so. and then we'll take a day off. Okay. We'll take about yeah. But I'm going to have to call up people. We have we have about fifty reservations, nice. which sounds good. But no one's paid. So it's a much higher dropout rate. Oh my God! Half of the people yeah. are going to turn. Anyone we know? Made a reservation? I don't know. Blanche, you'd have to ask Blanche. Oh, Blanche. Well, actually, I'm looking forward to seeing Blanche on Thursday. Well, we're going to see Blanche on Thursday. And you're going to see me. You can walk in there. But to Friday, mm. Friday, I've got a COVID test because I'm going up to the, the other main studio. I mean, there are a few main studios. This is a door going down here. You can't see. Mm -hmm. uh, the other main studio, which is uh, Leavesden near Watford, which is the Warner Brothers studio. Oh, what's happening there? I've been there for the Harry Potter tour. Is that the one? Is yeah. that the Warner Brothers? Or yeah. The, the, yeah, it's the Warner Brothers, right. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. What are you doing there? Do I need a haircut? No, your hair's all right. I mean, it's a little puffy, but I guess they want it that way for your fringe. I think that's, this is just the way it's going to be for the rest of it. It's going to recede and recede and just be a little... You'll keep your poof. Uh, you keep as, your long as, I, as long as I can. Uh, you know what happened? I just suddenly woke up and I thought to myself, God, my hand was receding. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you're, at your age, you've held on to a lot of hair. But luckily, at my age, it's yeah. there's a lot of these women out there. Who like, like that kind of hair? And they like it. They, like, they want to... They want because women... Because women like an older man. Like. Yeah, they like an older so man. They don't like a younger man. No, they don't. They don't. Okay. I, would okay. Agree. I would generally agree with that. I mean, you would take a younger man if he was like super, super stuck together, right? Yeah. But, I, I, would, but I would kind of think, what's wrong with you? Like, why don't you want to be with someone your own age? Why is that? I would just but, think that. But don't you have confidence and think, well, aren't I beautiful? Enough? Yes, I do. But I mean, I also have confidence yeah, that when I was that age, I wanted to be with someone around my age because, you know, no, I didn't want to be like, re like retired and playing golf in Florida when I was, you know. 20-something. But these people don't stay together anyway, so what's the big deal, number one? So, like, who can leave them? For, from, for your point of view. And number two, women like older men. And that is a fact. Is that a shape of fact? It's been proven with me. Every single woman I've been with is younger than I am. I mean, some not by much, but they're still, you know what I'm saying? Quite a bit. No, um, yes, I'm like quite a bit. Like more than others. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I'm not... I'm not making any judgments. No, I know, but why did it have to turn off? I'm saying, saying why you I say personally would not want to be in a relationship with a younger person. That's all I'm saying. Person, I'm someone who's person, like, person, who's yeah. in my have stage. You become, have you become pre pre lesbian? <laughs> I've been pre lesbian for a long time. Is that true? That's the way I said to it. my daughter the other day, I think I would become a lesbian. She was like, "Oh, that'd be so cool. I'd love to have yeah. two moms." Ah. Uh. <laughs> I think you, this is what makes you slightly old, is that you you are you're not you're not the lesbian type. <laughs> type. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm, pretty, I'm pretty sure I'm not. I'm pretty sure I'm not. Yeah. 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 Yeah
sure that's not Jones' age. <clears throat> I think it is. I think the young ones, they just think that's always on the agenda. The younger yeah, ones, you know, the when they're 20 years old, you know, yeah, it's like, well, yeah. and yeah, they probably yeah. have, like, if I had to guess whether you have had that kind of thing. Oh, we're not having this conversation. No, we're not having it. But if I had to guess, you. and you, number one, you would never tell oh, me. Never tell you. A, and B, and B, you would never tell me. And but three, you know, and three, you know, if you yeah. did do it, you would, it wouldn't be an open thing. It would be a secretive thing. And it would, for sure. For sure. Yeah. I'm like that with men, women. What about me if I have a, can I have a gay thing at my age? I thought you did have a near gay thing many years ago. We're not ago. talking about that. <laughs> <laughs> Which you told me in cringy detail, <laughs> if I remember. You remember. Oh, I, totally some crazy. of it I've intentionally blocked out. It doesn't matter. I will deny it. I will deny that it, <laughs> that it happened. We are going to make an art school. Yes, very already. And you just, you did those I things. You did it. those things. But uh, not that I would admit it. I don't want to admit it. No, but it, it was an option that was on the table back then. So that's what I'm doing. I'm doing, but I don't remember what the film. I'm playing a minister. Oh, that's the one wow. I'm playing. So yeah. Minister and I look, I look really good. It's a really beautiful kind of a suit with the trousers mm -hmm. and the vest the and, and the hat. No, no, not a minister. No, a, a government Oh, minister. gosh, I thought you meant a minister. Yeah, a government. Is this for the crown? No, it isn't for the crown. I had to say no to the crown. They called me up for the crown. I couldn't do the crown. Listen to you. I know. Getting busy. I know, getting really busy. Getting busy. So that's, uh, and but on, on Saturday, I'm going up to, uh, I'm going, I'm doing a gig. Oh, I those words. Yeah, like an actual gig up in, <laughs> uh, up in Alexander Palace. Mm. Yeah, for the COVID Deniers Club. Mm. Yeah. I wouldn't encourage people to go to that one. I know you would. Ugh, you're performing for that crowd? Are you going to do the kind of material that gets them excited? No, because I can't really do that. <laughs> <laughs> I remember, because I did a thing. I you're going to go in there and quote the efficacy of different uh, vaccines. Well, whatever. I, like I said, I made a joke about, uh, about Jeremy Corbyn. Like my joke about Jeremy Corbyn. You know, mm -hmm. I can, um, like... Uh, why can I why can I say anti-Semitic things? Because you're a Jew. No, because I'm a member of the Labour Party, <laughs> and that that's the joke. That's the way it's the joke. Mildly amusing. Mildly amusing. Or I, maybe I said I said mm -hmm. whatever because I support Jeremy Corbyn or whatever the thing is, mm -hmm. and uh, people start applauding, and then I realize, holy cow, this is the audience who would applaud that. And I said, if I if I had known that, I wouldn't have said it. Yeah, I don't see what you're saying. It's like when Sasha Baron Cohen did that thing. I can't remember what it was in the States. Throw the Jew down the well. Yeah, people started to believe yeah. it. Yeah, and clapping and jumping up. And yeah, right. right. These are your people now. These so, are my people. Yeah. They're not. They're not actually bad people. Oh uh no, -huh, they're just disgusting. Well, you would say that. I would say that, and I do believe it. I'm filming. I'm filming in Leesden on Sunday. Busiest week I've known you to have. Yeah, I'm busy. Where, what's the venue? You're not at Alexandra Palace, like not at the. Place. No, in the area there, right down the hill. It's like Finchley Are there a lot or something. Of them in that area? No, they're doing these shows all across the country, and I'm going up to Hereford. Oh right, I'm And I'm going. I was going. I'm going to uh, to Ipswich. Yeah. Do you think you'll be like in the normal crowd? No. This is it for you. You found your niche. You What's know, gonna happen when they move on to something more extreme, like you know, bad, okay. like what more extreme? Like the anti-Semitic stuff was more extreme than what? Well, all that stuff seems to always progress to something else. You know, like maybe they'll be trying to, I don't know, like defund medical care or whatever. Are you gonna go extreme. with them on that journey? I believe in defunding medical care. Or like, oh, what do you mean, like ending the NHS? Like women have to have their arms covered, you know, all of that kind of stuff. Are you gonna go with them on that? I journey? have. I don't want to talk about it because I I have been thinking in these terms. Mm -hmm. Basically, I think the the, the, the oh, people, what point do you and I just sever completely? Is well, there a line can I tell you something? I think I can't do this anymore. You tell me. I hang out with you and your horrible beliefs, and I think they are absolutely horrible. So I think they don't harm anyone. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. I believe in inclusion. Well, do you think mine don't harm people? Mine harm people. I think their beliefs harm people. Yes, I do. Yes. Okay. Now, this is the most interesting thing. And this is the thing: is that is that 
You, and also when you, you get into your creepier, like, you know, your incel types. No, there just the, seems to be like a diagram where all of those things come together. Yeah, there's a, it's, now there is no Venn diagram. There's only silos, and people get buried into this group. They, there's no overlap anymore. There's a lot of overlap. There is no yes, overlap. Yes, yes, no, I'm saying, what do you know? No, you didn't misinterpret what I said. Creepy. No, I'm saying, I'm saying there are 10 things. I saw a list and I should have copied this thing. 10 things that the that are my my peer group believe in. And they're probably the exact same things that you don't believe in. Yeah. It's like, no, well, you can't say, you know, I agree with nine of those, but this one I don't. This one I agree with you, Lewis. Mm -hmm. That's just the way it is right now. There's no Venn diagram. There's no overlap. Well, you I will are, say that all of your people always seem to have one common theme, and that's controlling women. Um, in my opinion. That is a theme. I don't believe in controlling women. I believe in in making women happy because I can't make them happy. I think I think we should do what we do. <laughs> is, is, you know, the problem is, here's what the problem is. The problem is, is that on one hand, right, you have, you have a conservative way, which is going backward in time, yes. right? Restore me to a time that to I believe where time. things were good. Right. On the other hand, you have the, what you call the future, let's say, which is independent women, abortion, uh, do, no fault divorce. All those things go together. Women working, um, all these things go Freedom together. Freedom of choice. Free, freedom free of choice. To go to church or not go to church. Yes, free to go out in public by yourself, not to be, not to have a, a, a thing on your whatever it is, like the like the Iranians. So you've got two, you've got a, these two things. You can't pick and choose from one group, right? And say, okay, we'll have we'll have what what we want, but a little, we'll let you have what you. No, you can't have it. So like with, with something well, like that's not true because I can easily live a life where I can do what I want, you know, work, all those things you said, yeah. make the choices that work best for me, for my family, the people who I care about. Yeah. But you can very happily live in this apartment with a you know, a woman who doesn't go out, who doesn't work, who doesn't do those things because the two of you hopefully it's a free choice and she's not a prisoner. And that doesn't affect yeah, me that whatsoever. Takes the, that takes the fun out. So that, that, she's not with. <laughs> that doesn't affect me whatsoever. But your type can't bear that I'm just living my All life. Right, we'll talk about that in a second. Okay. So actually, I'm quite happy for you and your insults. What to you're be saying, what you're people. saying is, you're saying is, is that I'm I'm causing hurt for you, my belief system, potentially. Yeah. potentially. But I would say, I, listen, I'm not taking a side in this. Because in all, yeah, but you kind of aligned yourself with the ickies, the retrogrades. No, I tell you what I am. And I think as a result of your age, yes. I think lockdown was very difficult for you. Now it's an age thing. It doesn't matter with this lockdown. Well, lockdown was I, but I was, I was, a, I was, a, I was this way twenty years ago. Remember, I voted Libertarian forty years ago. Mm. Okay, forty years ago, I voted Libertarian. Yeah, but Libertarian is different to what you're describing because there's a strong state element. Yeah to the beliefs, a lot of the beliefs yeah. that your silo has. So I'm not for enforcing a lot of these things. So you think Ooh. that, yeah, but at the same time, a lot of these things are really hurtful for humans, men and women, that I believe they're hurtful. I think there's a lot of unhappiness, but that's not the point I'm making. The point I'm making is, I like for example, I think abortion is wrong, is morally wrong, okay? But I'm against telling a person what they can and cannot do with their body. Mm -hmm. okay? yeah, I know. That's a normal right. But I think it's 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 horrific. But we need a society. If we want a society where people like you, Lisa and Moyle, work and make money and feed your family and do what you're supposed to do in your mind, I can't come in and say, you know, you can't do that. That's the problem. The problem is is but that's not the way your people mainly think it is the way they maybe think. that's the libertarian Lewis Schaefer saying you know I'm not going to do x but you can make your choice to do it but at some point some of these things doing y is hurts me I'll tell you I'll tell you how great my side is uh -huh. I'm gonna say it's like we're in the minority think though 
I, as you know, I am a meat eater. Right. And I am on, been invited, invited onto a show. About me? No. Run by somebody who is a, almost a vegan, a vegetarian. Which show is that? Uh, Free Speech Nation with Andrew Doyle. Is he a vegan? Totally. But you totally. have a lot to say to him about that. Yeah, I'm sure vegans and meat eaters have happily sat alongside one another. This is how great that dude is. That's like and he has a meat eater on the show. He's notorious yeah. on Twitter for blocking people who don't agree with him. You I, do know that, right? Because he's very sweet and sensitive. He doesn't want to say bad things about people. But he has me on his so show. He believes in free speech as long as it's being broadcast. It isn't about TV. free speech. It isn't about free speech. It's about it's about just accepting other people's opinions. And so beliefs. Ways in no, you have. You just yes. you don't want to hear. You put your fingers in your ears. Because it's boring. I'm tired of hearing about it. What if I came here and talked to? I mean, I'm not a vegan. Talked about veganism every week. You'd be bored. No, I don't want to hear about your diet, quite frankly. But it's all the other things. It's you're very. I accept it's very interesting to you, but it's not that interesting to it's other people. It's interesting. And to the way you talk knows. about your diet is not in a hey, this is what I do. It works for me. You're so judgmental about it. Yeah. So, because it's not, don't it's, expect, it's don't not, expect it's not about me, about. it's about everybody, it's meat, we're humans, we're meant to eat meat, but, but people are trying to stop me from eating meat. Who is trying to stop you from eating meat? Your own daughter, with her judgmentalness. She's got she, she chooses but not But they will, eat. they will, the attitude is they like, will. they're gonna, they're gonna, they will, they're gonna stop us from eating meat, which is so unhealthy. I think you're gonna have access to your however many kids. thousands of pounds of ground beef you eat a week, you'll be fine. No, I'm not going to do that. All right, so what is the next step? Anyway, so we finished your, you do have a busy week. You have a busy week for you. I have a very busy week. So I'm doing that show. So you can come and see me. Yeah. I think the thing about you, Lisa Moore, yeah. is this. Is that. Do you want to be controlled by your type or have my life dictated do, by your do type? Do I control people? No, but you're type one too. No, that's the thing. I'm not a type. I'm a human being, and they're all human beings. They're not. They're not trying to. What they're trying to say is, is that what you what you think. Okay, this is why I'm a better person than you. What you think mm -hmm. is, you think I and my beliefs by being anti-vaccine, by being anti-climate change, by by maybe yeah, I think you're celebrating ignorance. By maybe saying. That the way the situation is right now is not conducive for happiness, mm -hmm. okay? For their happiness. For their happiness, right? And for society's happiness. There's so much unhappiness. But here's the difference. I have a I have a big approach to this thing. I'm not I'm, I'm not morally. Is that I see benefits to both sides. You have your belief system. Your belief system is basically the same as my belief system. We grew up with the same system, if you remember correctly. We grew up th at the same types of universities, thinking the same kinds of things. We grew up with women working and with women having, having with women not being virgins when they got married, and with women having, you know, divorce. All this stuff we grew and up. And their own checking account. And their own checking account. The question is, there are some people who think that that's not conducive for happiness. Well, it's interesting because women are probably happier, so I'm not sure. Well, you speak for all women. Well, no, but I think in most, if you ask women about their satisfaction with their lives, that they would be happier. Well, they're the most unhappy. The, the number of women who are taking, um, here's what I'm saying. I want to I speak directly to the people out there. I'm saying, okay, we as human beings, there's no optimum way to live, right? And we can... And we can live different ways in different countries, different times. And so I'm, I would be against suddenly going in like the Taliban went into Afghanistan mm -hmm. or like the, uh, the revolution, whatever, Iranians went, mm -hmm. went into Iran. I don't know what your people want. No, I don't think it is. Yeah, I, think it is. I think it is. Maybe it is. Maybe it is. But I'm saying, I'm saying you have to see that there could be happiness for that. Isn't that? <laughs> I don't think that the women I see in Afghanistan are particularly happy. Do you know something? Of course they are. Oh, my God. I'm, I'm, some of them are very unhappy. 
But a lot of them, remember- you think women who were in school, in primary school, secondary school, university, are happy now from being banned from education or banned from going out into public life, except under certain circumstances, I completely think, controlled by someone else. You think that's making women happy in the, in the main? And I think, I think, remember that a lot of those people in Iran, okay, remember Iran is a very big country, and there's lots of people in Iran who are very westernized. But then there are a lot of them who are living in the, uh, in the, the rural things, and it's, they actually, it's not like, how do you, how do you explain it? They're, they're, it's their culture. I know you think, well, no woman is in favor of this, but it's a lot no, of women. No, I hear there are more women who are in favor of that. I believe the vast majority I are not. And they're quite happy to be home doing what they're doing. Well, they don't perhaps know any other options, but as, once women have tasted other options, the vast majority do not want to go back. You know what? Let's talk about women being unhappy because I've seen it myself. I've Just made, because I've made enough women unhappy. Yes, and that is on you. Right. But you're not going to make it better by keeping them at home. No, I didn't say that. I think that I, icky, I, icky crowd that you're you know, think, you think you think that's what it is, but a lot of it is a lot of it. Now here's the problem. The problem is, how do we? They don't believe they're anti-science. They're anti-progress. They're anti-progressive yeah. values. If you're ever, ask me if I'm ever going to accept these people as people I want to be socializing with or hanging around with, the answer is absolutely not. And here's the you, when it comes to the political discourse and we're making a choice at the polls, right. am I going to vote for those kind of people? Absolutely, 100% not. I was watching a very interesting program about Hitler uh, on trigonometry, which is an amazing, the two guys, I know the two guys, trigonometry, and what the people thought about Hitler, okay? And whatever you think about Hitler, I mean, there's some, obviously, there's a lot of debate about Hitler. There isn't. Only in your side. <laughs> I was making a joke. I was making Only a joke. Only in your side. No. But your what? Again, that's like the no, thing that, no. no, we don't believe that ever happened. Prove that happened. No, that's not what, that's not what I'm saying. Okay. What I'm saying is, no, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. It doesn't. You're accusing us of being anti-science. Okay. You're accusing me of being anti-science. I'm the most scientific no, person. No. You you search. I mean, if you think being scientific is searching the internet to find things that agree with what you want to be true, then you're kind of science. I didn't do that. You do do that. I didn't. Do you do that. do that. No, I didn't. You do it all the time. You surround yourself with people. No, I'm that. I'm looking for questions. And the people out there can see how great Louis Schaefer looks. They can see <laughs> whether it's all your diet. diet. Yes, it's down to my meat eating diet. What do you think it's down to? It's down to a low carb, meat eating, no plant, no toxic seed oil diets. Diet. That's what it, it's down to. Wait, wait. You don't think now I feel like I'm holding you hostage, Lisa. I do feel like a hostage. I said, I'm you know, what are you looking at the phone? Because we're I still doing in a sec. We're still doing because I, I made you feel uncomfortable. Okay. No, I'm not uncomfortable. I don't no, like you're just your bored. Diet. I, I do get bored by hearing of it. It's been a long time that you've been talking about right. diet. First, it was the extreme calorie yeah. counting. Then it was the low carb. Then it was the no carb. Then it was the meat, meat, meat. And I think it's been an exciting journey for you, but it's not been as exciting for me. I will say this to you. Yeah. Is that you, what you accused me and those people who are supposedly my group of you being. Your group. They're not my group. You don't know your group. I disagree with as many as, yes, some of them are and some of them aren't. Some of them are and some of them are, but you think the people who are on the other side are, like we said, are anti-scientific or hate women that are old-fashioned. I don't know what what words you would use. In that kind of dream group that in which you place yourself, yes, I do believe that's true. Right. Okay. I think and you're like the Marjorie Taylor Green kind of people. Yeah. yeah. And that might be true, but I want you to know that the other side. Marjorie Taylor Green, maybe me, maybe Donald Trump, but I don't think that we're the same thing together. We think the same about you. We think that you are a dangerous threat to our world, that you're trying to destroy the world. And once you realize that, you can't you can't be super angry when you look at the other side. Yeah, because they're trying to un undo decades and decades of hard won progress. So yes, you can be yeah. angry. And I will when say, you have something and yeah. people are trying to take it away from you, you have absolutely every right to be angry. Yes. 
And I'm saying that they're looking at you and they're thinking you are trying to stop but people. You're trying to stop people something. from eating meat. No from one being, trying you're trying to kill. Eating. You are trying to kill little grannies by taking away poor grannies by taking away their heat. That's what you, you know. It is. You, are, you, are, you, are, you are a murderer. You're a murderer. No, I'm telling you, I can't. I can't talk to you anymore. You think you're such a good person when you're killing people. You. This is. Weirdos fact is trying to undo decades and decades of progress. And you are because they don't like the fact that the color of the world they live in is changing, the gender makeup. You're calling them racist. Many of them are. Okay. Not all of them. The gender makeup of the world. You're calling them misogynist. They don't like the shifts in power that they see in society, and what they're trying to do is pull that back, and it's impossible without force. Okay. I'm going to tell you what I think you are, is that you're trying to undo decades upon decades or hundreds of years of growth of making the world a better place. Of, we were heading towards a very happy moment, but you want to undercut our fuel, so you want people to freeze to death, which makes you, yes, you death. are, they are, so free, they are freezing to death. You are, can I just tell you something? Can I tell you something? You are, I'm looking at you directly in the camera. This is Lisa Moyle. She is a murderer. She is killing old people by denying them fuel. This is the kind of thing because that the because say. because it's she's anti-science. It's absolute ignorance. Well, that's what you do believe. But you're flaunting your ignorance, and I don't think it does you anything. No, favor. it isn't flaunting. It is. It it's is. something you it believe. Is by saying it is something, something you believe. Silly, you like believe that. that cows on a on a hillside are causing the planets to get warm, which will cause flooding, which will kill people. And so, because of that, we cannot eat meat, which no means, that. yes, like, that's, 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 yes, that's what it is. Back on how much meat they're eating, it's hardly a wholesale lifestyle change. Yes, it is. You're trying to ban meat. That's what they're trying and to actually, do. And actually, people are eating less meat now anyway than they used to. They did, even beforehand, because that's the whole plan, is to starve people to death, because you want to murder us. Here is the thing. Here's what I'm saying. Actually, that's some of your group, and I think we would not miss. Let's, let's saying, just, I'm let me, let, before we go, don't go anywhere. We're almost done here. We're almost done. We've come in under the wire. Is that is that what my point has been is that while Lisa thinks that supposedly my group is anti-science, misogynistic, yeah. racist, yeah. we think, however we are, think that her group is misogynistic, racist, anti-science, creating. They don't right? think we're misogynistic. I think that's actually not true. Um, you you are misogynistic because I you want you you true. want women to work and be unhappy and not have children and the most important thing for women is to have I believe this but I could be wrong because you can be happy and not have children exactly. you can be happy okay let's just say goodbye thank you Laura Synthesis for listening to this you're going to be replacing Lisa Boyle next week she would not put up with you for more she than would. one yes, she episode would. She, she, she would not. Absolutely would not. One thing you can say. One thing you can I say. have been very tolerant of you, your <laughs> journey into nuttiness. Well, what we're looking for is we're looking for a little bit more of a feminine woman. <laughs> you're so rude. You're, just, you're making my case for me. I'm just going to sit here in silence. <laughs> whilst you make my case for me. Okay, so uh, what else we got to do? ResonanceFM.com. This has been our show. I'll see you Thursday. Come come to the Ivy House and buy Normal a drink. People Normal people go there. You see Lisa. No, don't say that. I think true. I think well, you're talking to your COVID deniers. Sure. If, if Let's you, make it very clear that's not part of what I'm If you support what I'm I think what I'm saying is more reasonable because I'm saying both sides are wacky. That's what I just and said. I say both sides wacky. think no, the I other think one. You're trying to undo your people by no, I'm saying they 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 believe what they believe. I don't think we can ever. You can't just suddenly end abortion, okay? For example, you can't yeah, suddenly. Well, there are some states in the US that are making a very good attempt to that. And I don't think you can do that. Well, I don't think you should do that. Be a very because we need abortion if we need women working to give Jeff Bezos money. What we need is good health care, and we need. It's not that hard not to get pregnant. Good access. It's not that to hard not to get pregnant. Really? They do. What they do. What they can't get. The vast majority of things they did was provide that kind of care they to can't, women. So stop thinking of it. Women cannot, is actually women's health care. 
Yeah, yeah you want to call it that. And they're going to take your prostate exams the way you'd be up in arms. Um, Especially given the amount of times that you I'd be up in fingers. <laughs> I'd be up in fingers. <laughs> All right, so say goodbye. <laughs> say goodbye. Um, what else are we going to say? We'll be back, we'll be back next week. Um, okay, give, give me a sign. If you've listened to the end, just say you've liked this thing. Follow us. Follow us. Like this thing. I'm going to put the link to Patreon underneath this thing for my Patreon account. Lisa will get none of the money. But <laughs> no expectations. You can be one of our first Patreon accounts. And, and uh, we, uh, we're next. We did. We did. Jason Spiro. So this, this program has been, I, I don't even want to talk about it because he's been giving me money. And it's just a bit, it's a bit, I feel like dirty. Not tawdry. I feel like he's such a good guy, and I don't feel like I deserve it. So thank, oh, you. Well, thank you, thank you, Jason Spiro. Okay. <laughs>